A previously well 78-year-old man presents with a 24-hour history of sudden onset palpitations. He's normotensive, but has an elevated JVP and pedal edema. ECG demonstrates absent P waves replaced by irregular fibrillatory waves and irregular QRS complexes. Transesophageal echo reveals no obvious abnormalities, so what is the recommended treatment regimen? I start by searching or browsing for palpitations. I can jump straight to the step-by-step -step diagnostic information by selecting Diagnostic Approach. The patient has an irregular pulse and I can see from the step-by-step -step approach that this may be associated with atrial fibrillation. On this basis, I move to the Differential Diagnosis section to scan all of the differentiating symptoms, signs and investigations and choose likely ones to compare. The information for atrial fibrillation tells me that an ECG taken while experiencing symptoms is likely to show an irregular rhythm without discrete P waves. In fact, I know from the tests already ordered that the patient's ECG has shown those features and I've now confirmed that they support a diagnosis of acute atrial fibrillation. So I now check the detailed information on this condition. From the overview page, I briefly review the information relating to atrial fibrillation before looking in detail at the treatment options. The patient has some features of cardiac failure, but I know that an echocardiogram was entirely normal, showing no left atrial thrombus. He's hemodynamically stable, so I select the patient group that matches these features to review appropriate treatment options. The treatment options are summarised and I tap through to review further detail. Given that there are some signs of heart failure, I elect to commence the patient on digoxin and contact the cardiology team with a view to cardioversion. The app gives me sufficient information about drug dosing to enable me to start the patient on digoxin immediately. Finally, the app provides me with information about follow-up and monitoring to help manage the patient's ongoing care.